Hey guys, today is service day on my 90 series. I uh, thought I'd take you along for a little bit of a ride and a look and show you what you need to do and some of the tools you'll need to do it and make it pretty simple. So yeah, today I'll be doing oil change, uh, front diff, transfer case and rear diff. So we'll uh, cut to it and I'll show you what I'm up to. All right, so I'm just gonna jump onto the car here. So today, um, this is, well, at the moment, I've been uh, doing my oil change. So your drain for your oil is here. Your oil filter is hiding up there. Your best access is through the rubber panel on the side of the vehicle um, to get to the oil filter. And then obviously, yeah, I've just got a big drain tray down here, just so I can catch any extra drops that may run down the chassis rail. And um, that's pretty much your service one. So that's a 14 mil bolt for this one on your sump. Now I'm going to crack it open, let it drain. Um, good thing with the V6s, possibly the diesels too, I'm not sure, but yeah, because it's straight down, it just drains your sump completely, not a problem. So, best to do this when it's warm, um, so, but don't scald your hand while doing it. So when you unscrew your oil filter, um, it's going to get oil all down here, all down your diff. And it's just going to be like a right old mess. So, grab yourself some degreaser. Once you've put your new filter on, uh, which I'll show you how to do, um, hit that with some degreaser and just clean it all up. And um, yeah, it's pretty much straightforward on changing your oil. Super easy. Obviously, take all your bash plates off first. Um, so, yeah, take all your bash plates off. And. Uh, yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Three on the front and another four towards the back. I've got aftermarket bash plates, they're quite heavy. I have to use a trolley jack to get them on and off. Um, generally don't like doing this on the ground at home, but you know what? Figured if you don't have access to a hoist, I'll show you how to do it at home instead. So it just takes a hell of a lot longer. But yeah, that's where we're at at the moment. So next thing we put the drain plug back in, which is the drain plug is sitting there. We'll chuck that back up into the drain hole and um, I thought let it drain for a little bit longer you know oil filter on I'll show you that little little tip with that one and uh, and yeah we'll be keep going from there next thing will be the diff not too shabby okay so the next thing is to grab your sump plug make sure it has a washer on it mine does well, it's not a crush washer, it's just an aluminium washer, so I keep reusing it. Probably not meant to, but eh, hasn't leaked yet. So, with that one, work it back in the hole. Wipe the oil off, run down your fingers. Wipe it off around the sump plug itself. Grab your 14 mil ratchet. Just nip it up. Don't overdo it, guys. It will get hard to undo. Um, so yeah, that's it for your sun plug. That's pretty straightforward. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wipe down this here. I'm gonna do this off camera because it's gonna be quite messy. Um, wipe down up where your oil filter is. Just wipe down the seal area because there is something I'm going to show you with your fresh filter that you have to do. So give me two ticks and I'll be right back on that one. Alright guys, so next thing is to uh, prepare your oil filter. So your oil filter generally comes with a plastic wrapper on it. So, so it comes like that with the rest plastic wrapper. So you take the wrapper off, which has a dry rubber seal on there. So, you never put this dry on the car because it will leak. So what you do is get a bit of fresh fresh oil, dip your finger in it, and you just run it around the lip. And that just creates a nice seal for uh, when you're putting it on the vehicle. So also use the correct rate weighted oil for your vehicle. Get that nice and coated. Not too much, that'd be plenty. And from there we will put it on the car. All right guys, once you've screwed your filter on and it makes contact, just need to turn it another quarter of a turn and then you're all done. 
pretty simple. Next thing is to top up the engine oil. All right, so next thing you do is actually put your oil in your engine. So it's 5.2 liters for the V6. Now, I use a funnel with an Oki strap so it doesn't fall over when I'm uh, pouring it in there. But if you don't have a, uh, if you don't have a funnel, you can use like a 1.25 liter Coke bottle or something and cut it in half and use that as a funnel. And bush mechanic, it's like that. So always handy, um, it's something you should know and um, yeah we'll keep on going with it and see where we get so i'll fill her up and then it'll be onto the diff or well, the front diff anyway all right once you've filled up your oil put your cap back on make sure it's tight don't want to lose it and uh yeah at that point you would start your engine uh give it a run for 30 or so seconds to circulate the oil shut it off and then check the dipstick level and top up as required also make sure that your fuel um, your fuel also make sure that your oil filter is not leaking either so uh, once you do that uh, then on to the diff so so what i've done in the meantime i keep the old empty bottle put the old oil in the empty bottle so i can dispose of it had a spare one so i knew that wasn't going to be enough so yeah keep your empty bottles guys and dispose of them they're either like super cheap or something like that. I know they have oil disposal, I think, anyway. So, um, yeah, from there, it's just a matter of uh, doing a diff now. So, we'll get under there and I'll show you what spots are what. And the oil is required for front diff, transfer case, and rear diff. All right, so the oil is required. So, from left to right, so that's your front. So your front and rear diffs are the same oil, they're an 8090. Um, for all diffs including limited slips and manual gearboxes, so it's an 8090 for the front, 8090 for the rear, and then your 7590 for your transfer case. So I'll show you underneath the vehicle um, where your drain and fill plugs are and the other tool I like to use when filling because I have this tom the Tom Thumb. So, so the all-purpose utility pump. I use for my diff oil transfers from my other car as well. Um, yeah, check that some of that oil in there, pump it, and uh, off you go. So, the idea with your diffs is obviously drain the oil out and put the drain plug back in, and then you'll remove the filler plug and you'll pump fluid into the diff, so the diff oil, um, until it starts spilling out of the fill plug, and then that's when you know it's full. So, it's generally how you do it. Um, pretty foolproof. Do the same thing with your transfer case and your rear diff as well. So the other pro tip guys, if you don't have an oil drain pan, or you can't afford one, because they cost a bugger oil anyway, but you have a spare oil container around, cutting the side out of an oil container, this is another thing I do. And obviously keeping the lid to drain it. Um, this is a good way to make a little makeshift drain, drain pan. Um, obviously bigger the better, this one's only like I think a 4 litre or something, so yeah like a 6 litre and, and you'd be perfect on that one, not a problem. Alright guys, so next thing to do when you're draining your diff and filling it up is you need special sockets for it. So I've got these King Chrome uh, hex sockets here in a 3A drive. Um, my front diff one was over tight, well over tight, and I had to use a breaker bar on a ratchet to undo it, so don't over tighten them guys, makes it really hard to get them undone. So I've already got these on here, so I'll show you the spots where these are. So, your drain is there on the bottom, and your fill is just up here on top on the side here at the front of the diff. So, I love when cars come past, hey? So, yeah, so drain is on the bottom there, and uh, the filler is there. I've already got them sitting in there. All right, so I'm going to drain the diff now, and I'll show you the Tom Thumb and how all that works. I've already filled it up, ready to go. So, um, yeah, I'll get this all happening, and uh, back with you in a while. All right, so I've done the front diff. Didn't really film it because it was a bit noisy around here, but I'll show you. So, just up in here is the filler. So, the little Tom Thumb has a hook here. 
So you just hook that part up into there and pump it up until it starts spilling out and then, then you're all good to go. So it's like 1.1 litres or something. So just make sure everything's hooked back up and uh, and you're good to go. So I'm gonna stop for some lunch and I'll be back. All right guys, back from some lunch. So I'm just gonna do a quick visual inspection on the front end here. Make sure none of the uh, drain plugs are leaking. And then we're going to make our way up to the back of the car and we are going to change the rear diff oil. So once you cracked it, drain plug's just there. It's draining out of here. Your fill plug is just up here. So probably a spanner onto that because your handbrake cable's in the way. Um, I have a feeling that's probably a 24 mil too. Check it out. Hopefully I don't drop it in there. Yeah, it's a 24 mil as well. So 24 mil socket for the bottom on a breaker bar I had to then and a 24 mil spanner up the top there and uh, that should get that out of there and uh, should be good to go and we just need to do what we did with the front one put the hook in for the tom thumb and uh, once we also once we put the drain plug in and pump it up till it starts leaking out and then put the drain fill plug back in and you're all good to go all right guys so I've drained the diff, which is fine, it's all good. And now what you do is you get the little pump hook on the tom thumb. I'll push that in a bit hard. You just one handed. You grab that, put that up in here, and you just pump away until it starts spilling out. Pretty easy. All right, so the Nightmare 90 has been fighting me this whole time. Um, the Tom Thumb decided to stop working and seize up. So this one has uh, gone a bit of an angle. The top's come off, so it's about four years old anyway. So I've got a brand new Tool Pro one here, same type of thing. And uh, works a hell of a lot better than what this thing did. So I'm just going to transfer the uh, diff fluid over to that one and I'll keep pumping it in and then I've got to do the transfer and yeah I'll see if I can get the bash plates back on today or not so uh, let's uh, keep firing away and getting this done all right guys so I've removed the drain plug and the filler plug is up over here so that's the next thing I refit the drain plug and fill up the transfer case didn't look too dirty actually uh, it was not too bad so same deal um, use the pump and uh, fill it up. So, new pump is so much better than that old thing. The old thing was horrible. So, anyway, I'll get on to that one and then it's pretty well done. Um, Gotta do something about this though. And I can't get this bottom bolter out of here. This one, it's very tight. Need some power tools. And all right guys, so all the oil change is done. Now it's just a matter of taking it down to the car wash and giving it a degrease underneath. And I'll put the bash plates back on tomorrow and uh, then we'll be done. So success and uh, yeah, super easy guys. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one.